at CBS 6 News, we're working for you after our investigation into high power bills in Powhatan aired, aired Friday. A lot of you reached out to say you've got the same problem. So our Tracy Sears went looking for answers and she's live to tell us what she found out. Tracy? Well, power companies say this has absolutely nothing to do with the rates going up, but the kilowatt usage, which is the amount of power that you use in your home each month. However, we found one customer who said she doesn't even live in her home, yet her bill continues to go up each month. The extreme weather this past winter is still causing its fair share of headaches. Too many people are complaining. Loretta McRae is one of them. She's shocked over her winter electric bills and is demanding answers. December, it went to almost, well, it was 200 plus, and then it went to 254. 274 and now the latest one is $305. We were ready for that. We Dominion Virginia Power says the reason is simple. This past February was the fourth coldest in Dominion's history. The extreme temperatures meant more people spent more time at home using energy. Now take February for example. There were multiple days when schools were out. So when schools were out that meant parents stayed home with the kids. And what happens when everybody is at home? They use more electricity. See how this is unplugged. But McRae says that logic doesn't apply to her family. Her Chesterfield home has been vacant for two years. The thermostat, we keep it at 72 for the most part, and we just had the thermostat replaced um, approximately four months ago, so we know that's in good working condition. McRae says her family has done everything possible to conserve energy. I did call them and I said, hey, I said, I did what you said a month ago. And I said, and the electric is still getting higher. Dominion customers aren't the only ones feeling the sting. Last week, several Powhatan residents complained to CBS 6 that they too were getting high bills from Southside Electric Cooperative. Power companies are urging upset customers to come forward. So if you feel your bill is an error or you want us to look into it, please call us. Now the light at the end of the tunnel. The weather, of course, is getting warmer. And thanks to new legislation that just passed in the General Assembly, the average electric bill is expected to go down by about $6 starting next month. Working for you in Richmond, Tracy Sears. Now back to you.